All right, in this video, we'll understand the basics of Azure Data Factory, what it does, and also we'll be implementing the hands-on, that is, we'll be copying the data from one container, that is from one storage account to another storage account in another container. So let's begin with the theory part. So whenever we see the term Azure Data Factory, so it is mainly related with some kind of orchestration work. It can be like ETL or ELT. So these are the, these are the famous terms. If you are into data warehousing or you are a data engineer, then you might be familiar about these things. Extract, transform, load and ex extract, load and transform. So this is a very important if you are especially into data engineering. And if you want to uh, advance your career in Azure, then Azure Data Factory is one of the key elements which you must learn. So one of the key feature of data factory is that there is like no code. So behind the scenes, the code automatically generates for us. We don't have to write uh, like um, the maybe the SQL code or maybe let's say if you if you are moving the data from one storage account to another, we can use the graphic user interface GUI to do or carry out those tasks. And Azure Data Factory on our behalf. Uh, will move or the data as per our requirement uh, next important thing is that like we can also preview and validate the data and during the data copy activity so this activity will be demonstrating in a while in hands-on so let's check it out all right we are at the azure console let's start by creating one storage account so let's click on it next we need to click on create storage account so first we'll be creating storage account uh, for the source uh, like where we will put one csv file so let's uh, name it like landing like landing zone uh, like cloud guru we need to write a unique name otherwise it will be a problem and uh, we'll get error so let's uh, move down so we will be doing it for minimal that is uh, we don't require any kind of redundancy LRS so uh, everything will be keeping as default so let's uh, review and create so we'll uh, creating two storage account first this storage account is for the source next another storage account we need to create it uh, for the target so uh, it is creating one storage account uh, first so it's in uh, progress it might uh, take a while till uh, it's uh, the deployment uh, goes like we can uh, duplicate this tab and uh, begin with creating another storage account for the target so as to uh, save some time so let's go to the storage account then again we'll be doing the same thing let's uh, give a name uh, like uh, staging cloud guru amit like anything like staging zone cloud guru with whatever uh, we are comfortable any name we can give next we need to select on lrs next uh, review and create i'll leave everything as default we'll be uh, creating it so one of our landing zone is ready here the deployment so it is also in progress so let's navigate to the uh, landing zone we'll go to the resource so in each uh, storage account will be creating one container uh, first so let's go ahead and click on container let's uh, click on the plus sign to create container why we, we are creating container because we need uh, one container to store our dot csv file uh, right so let's uh, give it a name uh, like uh, let's name it landing container let's uh, create it so it's in uh, it's done similarly uh, for the staging also a container uh, this one is ready so let's uh, now go on to the container part and create one container for the uh, like the target so we'll be creating one container for the target as well so we can uh, uh, name it like let's say staging container will be doing the same thing so basically we have created 
टू स्टोरेज अकाउंट इन ईच स्टोरेज अकाउंट देयर इज अ कंटेनर सो हियर वी हैव अनदर स्टेजिंग कंटेनर सो बोथ आर रेडी फॉर अस और लेट्स मूव टू अनदर टैप सो दैट यू डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज वॉट आई हैव डन I'll show you one by one the storage account. Um, let's click on the storage account. So see, we have created two storage accounts. So one uh, for the uh, landing zone, which is the source, and one for the staging, which is for the target. So basically, we'll be uh, uploading one file uh, contain uh, in the container dot csv file and move it to the staging using. Azure Data Factory. So that is our task. So if uh, let me open landing zone here. So this is basically the same thing. This one, if you look, same landing zone. So whatever. So let's uh, now do it from here. So if you look, uh, like you'll be seeing the overview tab. I'll be going onto the container. Then here we need to uh, select our landing container. So here uh, we need to upload our CSV file. So uh, i'm uploading the source file now so let's browse from our computer a .csv file all right so let's um, browse this file sample.csv this contains uh, some data uh, sample data dummy data whatever we call next we need to click on the upload uh, since the file size is smaller so it uh, usually uh, is done within few seconds uh, but keep in mind if we are uploading size in mb or gb so while using data factory it might take some time so you need to have patience uh, when it appears uh, in this uh, container inside it so currently there is uh, no data because we haven't started data factory so let's now uh, do everything from this scratch i'll be our files are ready target is ready uh, for the storage account next we need to create a data factory from this scratch let's click on create data factory let's now select the resource uh, group where the data factory will reside next we need to write any name like uh, data factory cloud guru amit whatever name we want to give make sure for the get uh, configure later is checked will be uh, creating this so by default i have left um, the all the settings as default not uh, doing much configuration here so let's create it all right our deployment is completed now so let's go to the resource we'll click on launch studio we'll be uh, creating the pipelines to move our data from this landing uh, this file sample csv which uh, is currently in the um, in our uh, one of the storage account name landing zone cloud guru amit and we'll be moving it to uh, this location uh, that is uh, this location staging uh, cloud guru amit location all right our data factory has loaded successfully so next we need uh, to click on this uh, pencil icon let's go ahead and create one pipeline so new pipeline will since we are doing everything from the scratch we are not using any kind of templates so next uh, since we are moving the uh, data so under move and transform we'll be having the uh, copy data so let's drag and drop here uh, yeah since it's done you can see so there are numbers here so this needs to be configured before uh, the copy process starts so let's start one by one from the source so let's click on the source uh, will be since we are creating everything from the scratch we need to click on new so it's uh, our uh, azure blob storage So next uh, click on continue our file type is dot csv so we we need to select uh, csv here click on continue next uh, for the uh, linked service we need to create everything from the scratch i'll write it as landing since it's a uh, from the source a uh, landing linked service so we need to select one subscription then we need to select the just note we are uh, this is from the uh, source right so we have created two um, currently uh, account storage account one is landing for the source and staging is for the target so since we are configuring for this so configuring for the source we need to select landing zone right 
you need to keep in mind and configure everything properly otherwise uh, you won't get the required output you need to be careful the next uh, we will uh, click on uh, create now so yeah it's uh, successfully got created now uh, we need to browse our uh, the csv file let's click on this browse folder icon next click on landing container so we have created these landing container inside the uh, inside our source storage account so we need to select the csv file uh, yeah it's selected you can check the file path and uh, till the uh, till our dot csv file so you need to make sure that uh, it's there so next uh, click on ok so this uh, looks good uh, use the validate um, the resource or anything if you want to do i'm uh, not doing it Let, let's now uh, configure the sync so it's uh, kind of like uh, the target you can uh, think so let's uh, click on the azure blob storage just like we have did previously for the source since our file type is .csv we can click on continue next for the link service uh, again we will be doing everything from the scratch for the target as well so we need to write staging linked service let's give it a name next uh, let's scroll down a bit we need to select one subscription subscription we are done so let's now select the uh, storage account since this time it's target and for the target we have uh, created this storage account name as staging zone so let's uh, select this so here uh, uh, we we are almost done but yeah you can al also test the connection previously we haven't done so let's click on testing this is an optional uh, since i'm confident so i'm not i didn't did uh, for the source successful then uh, let's click on create so it's it will create the link service for us so now uh, let's again uh, browse the target so it's staging container so why staging container because uh, this is the container we have created staging container as the uh, as here so I'll, I'll also show you just to if you're having any kind of confusion so this is our two storage account this is for the source this is for the target so for, let's open the target where we are moving want to move the file so under the containers uh, we have created one container to store to um, store the csv file from the uh, source if you open the staging container currently it's vacant we need to move the file here using azure data factory that is our task so we are done uh, let's uh, click on ok uh, this uh, let's begin so here you can see staging container so there, uh, there uh, here we want the file let's click on ok so yeah our uh, source and sync are done so next uh, we need to select the source and a wildcard uh, select a wildcard uh, file path so wildcard is nothing like uh, if there is some kind of pattern let's say uh, sample.csv in everywhere so uh, there uh, it's handful so handy so we'll select a wildcard card and uh, click on publish all so let's click on publish since it's uh, publishing we, there are also some uh, functions in adf like uh, which we have mentioned in the theory that we can preview the data validate the data validating the data we have already uh, like validating uh, the connection we have done so we can preview the data from here here is a button preview data that uh, this is our sample csv dummy file or sometimes if you are facing a problem the file is taking too much time you can also use this debug button so it uh, will debug for you so it uh, uh, i've seen from my experience that it takes a while uh, but yep uh, the file appears uh, quite a bit fast if you do it so yes after it succeeded let's uh, check yeah this is our uh, target staging container right and this was our landing uh, container the same file uh, size you can check it same same size um, so uh, that is our task simple task we are done so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found this tutorial helpful